Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the KISS FC. I'll have to admit that it took me a while to try the KISS gear because I was a little intimidated for a couple reasons. Um, when, the first, when the KISS first came out there was a lot of mixed reviews on it, you hear a lot of bad things. But then lately, um, it seems like they fixed a lot of the issues. All you hear about is how good the KISS are, so I had to give it another try. And then um, another reason why it took me a while to get um, started using KISS is that the manual for the KISS gear is really confusing. Um, it's kind of really hard to follow. A lot of it doesn't make sense and parts of it were in German. And uh, I couldn't find any good guides on how to set it up online. So hopefully um, this video will be just a short intro crash course on the KISS FC. I'll get into more detail when I do the build, build video next because I'm using this flight controller. So hopefully I can de de demystify some of the KISS gear. So um, if you're coming from the clean fly environment, it'll be a little confusing. But good news is that once you get used to the hardware and software, it's actually very simple to set up. Much more simple than clean flight actually. Because clean flight has a million different settings, but in the KISS configurator, it only has the settings you need to get you flying and, and flying really fast. So we'll get into the software part later. So in this video, I'll be showing you my setup on the Impulse RC Alien 5 inch with the KISS flight controller. And under this ESC, under this heat shrink is the KISS 24 amp ESC race edition. So let's take a look at the KISS uh, flight control itself first. The physical dimensions of this board is 36 by 38 millimeters, but the mounting holes are 30 by 30. Yeah, the standard mounting hole is 30.5 by 30.5, like all other flight controllers and frames, but I haven't had an issue mounting it on any of the frames over the standoffs. All you do is just a nice firm press and it'll fit right on a 30.5 by 30.5 frame. So this flight controller uses the MPU 6050 gyro. That's the same one used on the Dodo and SP3. It's got a 32-bit um, F3 processor. It can handle 2S through 6S and it has a built-in BEC so you can power the board directly from the battery. So this one will go directly to your battery right here. So you don't need like an external 5 volt like you do with the NAS or anything like that. And uh, it supports pretty much all the popular RX um, receivers like um, the Free Sky, uh, Spectrum, uh, Futaba. And then I, um, I'm not sure about all the other systems because I only use um, the Free Sky. But with the XSR, you can power the um, receiver directly on here. And then uh, if you use a smart port wire from the XSR connected to auxiliary one, um, it'll automatically set up your um, the telemetry and all that stuff. You don't even have to configure any ports in, in um, the software. But I'll show you how to do all that stuff later. And then it's got a buzzer output on the back. Um, here's ground or here's a 5 volt and buzzer ground. So the bu the buzzer here it doesn't beep like on a clean flight board. It just puts out one long one long beep, but that doesn't really matter um, as long as you can hear it. So we'll just quickly go over the the pads on the the KISS controller. I'll just show you the pads that you really need. Um, to set up your uh, a racing quad. Um, I won't go into super detail on every single one of these pads, but I'll just show you the, the basic ones you need. So to set up your receiver, I'll be using a FR Sky XSR. You just connect the signal to this pad right here. This one is a power and this one is a ground. And then you'll take your smart port telemetry wire and connect it up to auxiliary one. And then on the flight controllers, instead of saying motor one, two, three, four, it says PWM, which is pulse modulation. That's how the uh, the trend, the um, what is it? The flight controller sends a signal out to your ESC. It's called pulse 
pulse width modulation. It's a dig digital signal. So instead of motor one, two, three, it just says PW, um, PWM one, two, three, and four. So here is your PWM one. This is your motor one. Your motor three is right here. And the signal paths are the paths without the dots. Like you'll see this one has two dots, that's ground. And this one has one dot, that's a signal. I mean, that's the, um, the power. And then the signal wire is the one with no dots or holes in the pad. So this is motor one, motor three, and then on the back you have motor two and motor four. Right? And then the battery will just connect to right here V in. So you got negative, positive right here, and this will connect directly to your battery. So as you can see on my quad here, I have the FR Sky um, XSR right here. The white signal, red power, black ground, yellow is telemetry. So I have white going into the, the signal, red going to the power, ground to ground. And then I have the yellow smart port wire connected up to auxiliary one. And then I have motor one. Or one thing that you should note on the KISS FC, the motor layout is different from clean flight. Clean flight, you have motor one, two, three, and four. On the KISS configurator, it goes one, two, three, four. So just keep that in mind when you're connecting the signal leads to your, um, to your ESCs. So I got signal one motor is right here. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but this is the wire that goes to it. This is motor one and motor two is actually on the other side let me see like this yeah motor two is directly on the other side of one and then i have motor three which is three is right here and then four is on the other side which is this one and then you can't see it but i have a little uh, two pin connector for vbat right here that's going directly to my power distribution board or my battery. And then I have a buzzer hooked up to the leads right here. Um, oops, it goes like this. And my buzzer is connected right here. Ground, or actually five volt, and then uh, buzzer ground. Um, I'm just going to go over the install briefly here because in my next video I'll be showing you a uh, build video using the KISS FC and I'll show you the, all the details and everything. So that's basically the basic setup, um, the basic install, physical install on a quad for the KISS FC. As you can see it's very simple. Um, it's, it's almost just like a regular clean flight board except you just have to keep in mind the motor layout is different. And then next, we'll get into the, um, the software part. Okay, so now we're going to get into the program part. First, you're going to go download the firmware for the, the, the newest version of the firmware. So just go to the KISS downloads. I'll have links for this in my website. You just go, go download the most current version. As of this posting, RC28 is the newest version. So I'm just going to download that. download and I'm gonna go into my downloads folder Where is it right there and then just unzip this folder and then inside you'll see two files one hex one DFU so we're just gonna close this next you have to add clean flight to your computer so make sure you have Chrome installed and then just go type uh, kiss FC configure whoops Configurator. Go to the Chrome store and then just add to Chrome. Add. Close this. Configurator. And this is what it looks like. So, in order to flash the KISS FC, you have to hold down this little boot button. In the older KISS flight controllers, the original ones, they had a little uh, jumper pad that you had to solder to connect the boards. But in the newer versions, this is the KISS FC version V1.0. 
1.03 they included a little jumper button a little boot button so the way you flash it is you push this little button and then you plug it in or you, have, you turn on your kiss configurator and then you plug it in while this button is pressed down and what that does is it puts the flight controller in the, the, the flash mode and then you have to keep this button held down while you're doing the flashing don't let go until you see on the configurator it says um, com uh, flashing complete or whatever it is all right when you have the boot button pressed and the USB plugged in this is what you see you're just gonna go select the firmware select the RC28 hex we just downloaded click open and then hit flash firmware make sure you still have the button pressed down and then when it says success you can let go of the button unplug the USB and just for a good practice I like to close out and then just restart everything plug in your USB again and then you can connect Okay, so this is the basic layout of the KISS configurator. As you can see, there's not many tabs up here, and it only has the settings that are necessary for a racing quad. It doesn't have all the, all the fluff stuff that's in, the, the, in Clean Flight. So I'll show you all the settings that I have on my Alien. Um, this is just a basic setup. I'll get into the more detailed stuff next in the next video when I do the build. So just make sure you have your quad or the UAV type set on quad X because we're flying the X alien. And then just um, you can see this is the motor layout one, two, three, four versus clean flight where it's one, two, three, four. So just keep that in mind when you're connecting the ESC signals to the ESCs. So just uh, make sure that's X quad. And then for the receiver, I'm using the FR Sky XSR set up on SBUS. So the cool thing about this is um, once you have this set up and you have the smart port telemetry wire connected to auxiliary 4 like I showed you earlier, your KISS FC is already set up for telemetry. Um, all you have to do is set up the screens on your Tyrannus. Um, you, I'll, I'll get into that in the next video or you can check out my other video on how to set up the telemetry on the on the Tyrannus. I'll put a link in the below or just go to my website. And then this is the fail safe. So I always like to set my fail safe on zero. That means if I lose signal my quad will drop immediately instead of cruising and flying wherever it wants to go. And then next I'm going to set my min throttle at 1060. You can set that to whatever you want. This is just what I like. And then to enable air, um, air mode on the KISS FC, you just have to set the min command to 1000. And then you have to set up your arming on the quad to one of the switches. So I just like to set my, um, this is what I like to set up, level mode, high arm and then buzzer is over here so if you have your min command set at 1000 and your arming set up on one of the switches it'll automatically enable air mode on your KISS FC and then on the flight controller rotation I have my KISS pointing to the back so it's flipped 180 um, you can tell by the little there's a little arrow on the KISS flight controller um, that tells you which way is the front if you have it flipped the other way, you have to set this. If you have it pointing to the front, you set it on none. So make sure you have this set correctly, otherwise your your kiss your uh, quad is not going to fly correctly. So um, once you have all these settings set, just hit save settings. So there's a safety feature on the kiss flight controller. If you have your battery plugged into the uh, the quad is not going to save anything so make sure if you want to save any settings in the configurator you have you you have to have the battery unplugged from the quad that's just a safety feature they have um, on the configurator which is probably a good one because I've had times where the motors just spin up to max for I don't know for no reason so it's always a good good idea to take your props off when you're doing any of these settings 
especially on this one. So in in the kiss configurator, there's no real motors tab where you can um, like in clean flight where you can calibrate the motors. Since I'm running a KISS flight controller with KISS ESCs, I don't have to do a, um, a ESC calibration. But if you're running a KISS ESC with any other brand other than KISS ESCs, you have to do a calibration. So um, the way you do the calibration, I'll have more info on this on my website. You put the KISS FC in disarm mode. You connect the flight controller to the USB and then you set your minimum throttle to 2000 and then you arm the flight controller with your transmitter with no battery plugged in you plug in the battery wait for a beep then you disarm the flight controller unplug the battery set minimum throttle back to 1070 1060 whatever you like then you disconnect the battery and you unplug the USB and that's how you calibrate a non KISS ESC um, the, the procedure is on my website. You can go check it out if, if you didn't catch any of that. So, um, if you want to go test your motors to see if they're spinning up right, you go to this tab, enable it, and then you can turn on your transmitter. And then you can select, you can, you can select the motor you want to test. So this one is it's a good test to see if you have the right ESCs connected to the signal pads on the um, configurator or the um, KISS flight controller. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it for the basic settings on the KISS flight controller. Um, I'll just show you what I have on my PIDs on my 5-inch Alien running um, the Emax 2205-2300KV. So PIDs are pretty subjective. Um, one set of PIDs might feel good to one person, but not to another person. So this is just a quick um, setting that I, I put on my quad, and it's been flying really good, actually. I like it. So that's all I pretty much set. And then just make sure it hit Save Settings. So that's pretty much it for the KISS configurator. As you can see, it's actually very simple. It's, it only has the settings you need for a racing quad. Um, so once you learn you know, all the small stuff, it's, it's actually much easier to set up than the clean flight. So um, let me put the quad back together and then we'll just go do a little bit of flying. So here I'm flying the Impulse RC Alien 5 inch with the KISS FC. KISS 24A ESCs with the Emax 2205-2300 kV motors mixed with a mix of uh, Dow 5040 or 5045 tri-blades and 5040 quad blades. So the sounds you hear from the prop sound like oscillations but it's actually just the harmonics of the of the props messing with the microphone. So um, Kind of please forgive my lack of flying skills. All these little wobbles you see are uh, due to my crappy stick skills. As you can see in the setup part, I did minimal pit tuning and the quad flies really well already. The KISS FC feels really solid and smooth. I guess the word I can use to describe how it feels is tight. There's very little extra movements, and all the controls are very predictable. With more, more uh, tuning time, you can really make this quad fly like a dream. So you can tell from the sound here, I switched to the 5040 quad blades. It's a little bit more high pitch. So I highly recommend the KISS FC, especially when paired with the KISS ESCs. So do yourself a favor and go pick up some KISS gear. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.